can you tell me what's your job like what do you do what did you do in indonesia or where uh, actually i'm living in istanbul and i'm doing like e-commerce business yeah e-commerce okay that's yeah. interesting because i'm also thinking of maybe relocating to turkey so for people not acquainted with turkey i'll i'll tell them right now turkey is very uh, you know digital nomad friendly freelance friendly especially because uh, you don't really need to pay taxes i think unless you're doing anything with uh, anything concerning turkish citizens yeah actually uh, easy to make a resident in turkey that resident well. visa for like one year it's called ikamet yeah. right 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 how are you guys been traveling on on foot uh, uh, by car by, by plane uh, by bus by bus by bus how has that been i've been in a few buses in serbia and i have to tell you it's pretty dreadful well i'm used to like longer bus journeys once i've been on a bus that was like a 30 hour bus journey so uh, yeah balkans distances are okay better than that so okay well that's yeah. the and first auntie, time and my auntie is also like used to traveling a lot She's so used to it. yeah okay okay so what about you know prices things like that has accommodation been expensive here what do you use airbnb booking.com have you found someone locally you know where you're gonna you know live sleep in you know how has that part of of living here been uh we got airbnb and uh, booking right i mean you came at a pretty bad time considering it's a tourist season all the prices are going up and in general a lot of foreigners have been coming here and because they don't know english uh or you know they don't know serbian they're forced to use apps like airbnb and booking you know do you think Think it, you're you know kind of overpaying a bit for your accommodation do you think it's cheap you know are you working here online something so I trust uh, this uh, this is my first time to the Europe so right. uh, I didn't can I can't to uh, to know the another country's price so maybe when I go into the Montenegro uh, and uh, I will know which 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 party is, right, is right. you'll have a frame of reference to yeah. compare to so if you could choose Serbia or Turkey or Serbia for me but you don't have like to say that just because we're in Belgrade. No, no, <laughs> you, no. You can, I, I you can love, be I love honest. Living here in Turkey is so dangerous. Really, oh, it's yeah. dangerous. Yeah. I've been on a holiday for about ten days there, mm -hmm. Antalya, not Istanbul, but I suppose it's. Istanbul it's is so dangerous for me. It's, it's not fun. The people, like the guys following me, I got scammed so many times. Yeah. Scammed? How? Scam. My agent do my visa, my resident visa, and he never do that he, so. he took the money and ran okay yeah, yeah. and then like uh, you know like the perfume seller on the street be careful about them they have a knife and then they just like take money from you knife you're yeah. kidding me two of my friends already got become a victim and they what like, in like, the everything. fuck and also the phone pickpocket is so so dangerous in uh grand grand bazaar area how 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 have you been finding the people here i'm i'm not sure how many interactions you've had with people but we haven't really had interactions with people in Belgrade but but people in Nish <laughs> and Novi Sad yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're really like everyone's really nice and kind and helpful and because we speak Russian and people in Serbia kind of like Russians and our languages are similar so yeah we haven't had any problems and people are really nice somewhat okay yeah. uh, would you say that the um, the Serbian Russian you know brotherhood belief you know the, the the cult of Serbs and Russians being brothers would you say it's a it's a meme it's a joke or do you actually feel you know more wanted here than for example in I don't know Macedonia Croatia wherever well I definitely feel more wanted here than in Poland or <laughs> you know like mm, Czech Republic because with those countries uh, Soviet Union wasn't really nice so <laughs> oh, right. so here in Serbia yeah but uh, in other Balkan countries it was also like people are extremely extremely helpful and really nice and right. yeah what would you say about Serbian people you know uh, friendly, you know uh, for, for me they're friendly uh, I'm here and I'm going. I'm was going to uh, Novi Sad. Novi Sad, okay. Yeah, Novi Sad. Novi Sad. And uh, there are same people. They're friendly to me uh, when I need some help. Uh, just just uh, come here, come over here, and uh, tell me how to do. What I say is a real, real experience. 
Right. And also myself, a lot of bad things happen. And in Serbia, I nothing, never, yeah. nothing. It's so, so dangerous. Nobody's following me. They're like approaching me as friendly. Yeah. I mean, I mean we, we get a lot of people here mm-hmm. saying that Serbia is one of the safest places in the world. Yeah. And then people usually don't think that's true because, you know, 20 years ago, wars, killings, UN embargo, mm-hmm. uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. What would you tell people, not just from Indonesia, but you know, from all around the world, mm-hmm. if they could choose, why choose Serbia, other than the fact that the people are friendly? Are there other, you know, more uh, logistical factors at play? You know, is it cheaper than Indonesia? Is it cheaper than Turkey? Is it, is it uh, you know, cleaner than mm-hmm. Turkey or, you know, any other place you've been to? Um, for me, Serbia is like uh, the people. The people make me feel so um, welcome. Yeah, yeah feeling like um it feels like home here and, and it's it, every day like for two weeks i always tell to my indonesian friends i also got my instagram and i blogging every day that i just invite them to come serbia because indonesia is still locked down and serbia is right. really open for tourists and no visa also for indonesia so it's right. really open really so what do you do for a living like you're in uni or no no i'm 28 i'm kind of old so <laughs> i work i work in internet marketing nothing interesting Very good. All right, the music is pretty loud, but that's not going to stop us. That's why this thing is here. Uh, Jesus Christ, can it? For f- I'll kill you. Oh my God! Right. Have you done any research before coming here? Right? Have you been on Facebook, on you know WeChat groups, things like that? My girlfriend did that. Uh, okay, so the, she did the, that. Yeah, she uh, because I didn't have a Facebook or right, right. It's banned in China. And right. my girlfriend did that to Facebook, uh, and a lot of young people they get some party and get some visit visit to meet each other, and I see. Uh, all for short travel. Right. Yeah, and the sports, everything you can check out on Facebook in Serbia. Right, exactly. There's a lot of groups, you know, expats in Serbia, foreigners in Serbia, things like that. A lot of info can be had there. You can also, you know, find more long-term accommodation, questions about visas, things like that. So do you think that's a good thing, the fact we're this open? I mean, a lot of the countries now are entering their, you know, fourth, fifth, sixth lockdown, and numbers here have actually been rising, you know, the number of affected patients, people on ventilators, people admitted to hospitals. Do you think it's a good thing that we can stand around here and not just us everyone else this close uh, i mean i'm vaccinated as well but like do you think you know there's a reason why everyone else is opening up everyone else is closing down and we're the only ones you know being open no for me uh serbia is it's good it's open we don't need to wear a mask as long as like um just um okay yeah stay stay your health like and i was like uh, flying from ukraine and ukraine is also open same like this so i, see. I feel like a uh, corona free here really do you think it'll stay like this you know once we've finished editing this video and everything it'll probably be a week and then while people you know are, are finding it online it, it might already be outdated information do you think that it'll stay like this what are your friends saying you know other indonesian friends who have been here quite a lot and quite, you know for a, for a long time you know do they think this is gonna this is gonna stay this way or is it gonna change i think it's gonna change I mean, now everybody's come here, like all the people from around the world, and I see the number of the <laughs> yeah, it's going really high. Mm. Yeah. yeah, like Bitcoin. <laughs> like a bit- <laughs> Just kidding. I heard that it's gonna be locked down next next month here. Huh? I haven't heard that, but I would like to talk with your source if they have any inside info. Mm. I, I heard hope- that from the driver from the cargo. Mm. From the cargo, right. Yeah. Cargo is an app. Some people say it's worse than Yandex. I've actually used Yandex I do. quite a lot. Me too. Yeah. I do like Yandex more. Yeah, Yandex is is cheaper, I think, if cheaper. anyone's wondering. Cargo used to be good. Now they're like, eh, you know. One more question. Okay. I'm going to stop after this, I promise. Okay. I promise. Uh, do you find Serbia to be a desirable place to relocate given the nature of your job, right? I suppose it's online mostly, yeah, yeah. internet marketing and stuff like that. Do you think that you could settle down here because there's a I mean I don't know how much uh, research you've done, but uh, there's quite a lot of, you know, expats in Serbia, a lot of people 
doing all sorts of work, you know, from manual labor, construction to, you know, SEO optimization programming, you know, front end, back end, whatever, you know, sports even, coaching. Um, you know, a lot of these people are doing all sorts of stuff and they're, they're here and they've been here mainly due to the reasons uh, of an easy access to, you know, residency and the fact that everyone's so warm, like you said. Uh, you know, what would it take for you to be persuaded to, you know, live here more than, you know, a few years? Not permanently, permanently, but more than a few years. Um, if I got a job offer, I would relocate, like, immediately. Here. I don't care. Yeah, here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm not really ambitious, but my only ambition in my life is... Is to find a boyfriend. No, no I have a boyfriend. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> is, to, is to live in as many countries as possible. And ah. Serbia... See, I, I've only been in Belgrade for two days. Right, but right. Serbia and Belgrade seems like a place where I could live for a few years, yeah. I see. So, would your boyfriend agree with that? Or... Uh, you know, it's, it's different when it's one person and yeah. when it's two people, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and also depends on the line of work he's in, you know, which nationality he's from. Can he immigrate here? Can he not? You know. He's also Russian and he's a programmer. So for him, he can still work for his company in Russia and do his job remotely. So, yeah, and he also wants to relocate somewhere. So, yeah, he'd be down. There we go. All right. Well, this was excellent. Uh, this was me the host of the channel <laughs> and uh alina alina and her auntie. and my auntie tatiana tatiana <laughs> alina and myself thank you for your time thank you thank you we're gonna add thank that you. <laughs> all right <laughs> Would you recommend, I mean, you, you say it's your first time in Europe, but, you know, if you have any friends, you know, at home wondering where you are, things like that, would you recommend, you know, come to Serbia, it's nice, there's actually talks of a uh, Belgrade to Beijing direct flight starting from January 2022, although that's still a rumor, but, you know, it, it'll be much easier to get to China and to Belgrade, you know, uh, once a direct flight is um, is up what would you tell your your friends back at home you know come here visit there's lots of things to see what would you yeah say? yeah yeah that's sure uh, when I go into my uh, country for uh, for example for my friends uh, if we, they want to go into the Europe if they the first time going to Europe I will say you can go into Serbia it's friendly country and beautiful country you know they have the Sava River and don't know you know, uh, when the sun, sun, sun had done, sunset, sunset, yeah, sun, yeah. yeah. When it has sunset, it's very beautiful, like pen, painting, like a pain, paint, like, like a paint. Yeah, painting, it's not, yeah, yeah. it's not, it's look like not a re re reality. Not, you know, you you see that. It's right, it's unreal. It's real. like yeah. uh, you know, yeah. yeah. So very beautiful. All right. Well, he loves it, and I hope you guys do as well. Thank you very much. Back to my final question. Uh, is there anything you would like to tell other foreigners regarding life in Serbia? Would you recommend to them that they stay here permanently? You know, sort out their visa papers, get married, find someone. You know, would you Sounds recommend? Like me. Sounds like me. <laughs> You're searching. <laughs> I am searching that thing like us. Like, uh, yeah, sounds oh, like so. me. Because I was like, I can't live here and I can get the right same like a Serbian. But I don't know how to make the resident visa. I feel so safe here. Then my other my, my, my own country or in Turkey so yeah I wish like I can find a job or maybe making a business here yeah and I hope Serbia uh, Belgrade is not gonna lock down forever <laughs> yeah. okay very very optimistic mm -hmm. very optimistic okay well here's to Serbia not locking down ever mm -hmm. again as unlikely as that might seem we're still hoping thank you very much for watching see you around